The Discharge Prisoners Aid Committee has begun a series of consultations that will give the public an insight into its plans to reintegrate long-term offenders back into society. Headed by Chairman Retired Deputy Commissioner Raymond Charles, the committee will spearhead initiatives aimed at providing mental and social support. The first in the series of consultations was held at Grenada Youth and Cultural Centre on Thursday. The committee comprises representatives of governmental and non-governmental bodies, as well as religious and community organizations. We hear more in this June Paul report. The Discharged Prisoners Aid Committee, DPAC, held its first in the series of stakeholder consultations on Thursday. It was held at the Grenada Youth and Cultural Centre, Monroe St. George. The committee will be responsible for the mental and social preparation of long-term prisoners at Richmond Hill Prison who will be reintegrated back into society. DPAC is headed by retired Deputy Commissioner Raymond Charles, who has been appointed to serve as the chairman. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of National Security, Home Affairs and Youth Development, Marina Jessamy, spoke of the collaboration between the ministry and DPAC and the importance of rehabilitation of the inmates as they integrate back into society. The Discharge Prisoners Aid Committee is part of the Prison Act, and on the national security, we know that we administer three main functions at Her Majesty's Prison. The first one, what most people are aware of, is the custody, that we have persons there who are remanded to prisons, but we also have the function of industry, and more so the third one, rehabilitation and rehabilitation is very important to us because we have a very young population of inmates in prisons we have about 330, 374 inmates and 70 percent of them are between the ages of 18 and 40 and we are very concerned because we do not want them to miss out on the opportunities in life and so while they are in prison there is a very active rehabilitation program but when they are discharged then they are faced with challenges of reintegration um, how as society we welcome them what kind of support do we give them what kind of economic opportunities we give them to rebuild their lives they need a home they need an income and so and I believe that with the support of the committee they can help them identify opportunities, and they have that genuine and consistent support. Chairman of the Discharge Prisoners Aid Committee, Raymond Charles, highlighted the mandate and importance of the committee. The park is really to assist those who would have gone to prison, those who went to prison, to assist them to regain their lives back into society. This is important um, to prevent them from returning to the walls of Richmond Hill Prison and to influence other persons in society. According to Acting Commissioner of Prisons Rupert Nichols, with a youthful population of 70% of the 374 inmates at Her Majesty's Prison, it is hoped that such initiative will create a positive impact on the lives of those who will benefit from the program. Based on our statistics over the years, um, persons who are involved in the different levels of the rehabilitation program, we see that 20% keep reoffending and 80% would remain outside in gainful employment and activities. With such program, we are looking at 100% for persons to remain out there where they could have you know, structured their life in a positive way for their development, the family, and the country as a whole. So going forward with, with, uh, with programs like this, we are looking for, as I said, 100%, especially when we have a youthful population. Almost 70% of our 374 inmates are between 18 and 40 years. So we really look forward for initiatives like that to, to really help persons to make a meaningful impact in society. The other committee members are Pastor Jude Hector, Wayne James, representative from the Ministry of Social Development, Housing and Community Empowerment, Johnny Callis, representing the Division of Youth Development, Vonnie James, representing the Conference of Churches of Grenada, Christopher Stroud, Councillor, 
and Wendy Chitterman, who will be the secretary to the committee. According to data, the economic cost of crime to the Grenadian economy is over $100 million annually. Reporting for the Division of Youth Development, I am June Paul.